Hello and welcome to another Nico video tutorial. So today we will recreate my one of my last loops I made to this one Noe Towers. We will point here, this one here. We use here a one Noe fracture and the movement here sound effector. And yeah, this loops perfectly and I will show you how I did this. But first I wanna say some words on my own behalf. It so it happens more and more often than people. What's that? Um, okay. It happens more and more often than that people just send me a private message or somewhere else. Just send me a, a video or a loop or something else with no words, with no nothing, and they just expect that I make a tutorial. Uh, what yet is this? Uh, I don't know what. what uh, that makes me angry. This is this is simply disrespectful in my eyes. So, so I hope these people who sent me some uh, things like this, they watch this the, the tutorial. And uh, believe me, you guys will never get a tutorial from me with, with this, uh, yeah, at this way. So okay, that's it. <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah. Let's start. We start with. Uh, this here, which we put in a well, no fracture, of course, but I put some more segments on it and put it in a well, no fracture. Alt click with disk select, and we have this. Okay, with this, we can do nothing, so we don't need this uh, sources here. So there are uh, a way of, uh, which uh, would work, this is with emitter, but with emitter uh, you cannot uh, loop this with this animation. So I show you that the thing with emitter, if you make a, a simple emitter here, sub, 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 particles emitter, make the emitter 0 by 0 and here the highest values. And give them here more, let's say 50, okay. and the speed 50 maybe, then we get something like this, okay. And if we put this emitter in the sources for the Voronoi fracture, we get something like this. That looks quite nice, but let's disable the colorizing so that we don't have this flickering. It looks quite nice, but uh, you cannot loop this. This is, and so it's not useful for us. Good. So let's meet it, and I show you now my way. I do this. I make a simple mouse spline here, and make the mouse spline. Uh, make copies of the most blind around but uh, don't need a uh, cloner for this we need to we take the good old array here alt click on the array and bring the radius back to zero and you see we have this in the array i want 99 copies so we have 100 uh, splines nice okay and i don't want to see here the Full shape. Let's make the uh, circle bigger. Defer scale. Something like that. Good so far. And now I want to clone some matrices on the most blind here on the array. So let's see how we can do this. Let's stay here and let's hide the disk for the moment. I go to my matrices, matrix, boing, and go to object. And here I have to think what I bring in the array. Okay, we have something in here. Uh, that's not bad, but it's a smooth animation. Segment, it's okay. 
and when we make a little offset you see that works and we can make this with the rate here uh, the rate here the, it means it moves you see when I go to 100% we have a movement here and this means 100% uh, is a full loop in one second so this is 100% is one second I have here 100 frames 25 seconds per, fr per uh, 25 frames per second so I have here 4 seconds so I make here the 100% divided by 4 and now it should run slower and should still uh, loop perfect. So, but you see, this is not what I want. When I go to the offset and offset variation, this is not what I want. So, when I bring the most line in here, this is not what I want to. So, let's, let's try to put the array in. Sometimes it helps. Uh, this is a this is a tip from Chris Schmidt. Sometimes it helps uh, when uh, these splines are not uh, correctly interpreted or something else. It helps to bring this in a spline mask. So I bring them array in a spline mask. But you see the spline mask. This looks not nice here. Let me go to the viewport trainer. The spline mask does not help here. What we need to do is bring the array first in a connect object. So and now we see, Chuck, we have this nice chromometer, so, so this is most splines. And when I now go to my matrix and bring in here the connect, I have this. But now I should be able to make an offset variation here. And this is it. And I have here too many. Let's go to one. Counts so per segment. This means on, on each spline we have one matrix. Um, if you do this like here, and you say not per segment, you get something like this as well. But you get a problem. When you make a loop, you will see it. So when you loop this, it would loop. But you see, when we go from the last frame, it, it rotates back one spline. This is not what, what I want. So that's the reason I go here to one and make it per segment. Can even make two segments here. 100% here and let this run this loops perfect so here we don't have any problems good the next step is now you will guess it bring back my let's hide the splines here and Yep, and now I bring in the Voronoi fracture as source, the matrices. Let's see this, let's hide the matrices. Let's NA to hide the lines and go to the Voronoi fracture and make here a little offset, let's say one centimeter. So, and now if we let run this animation, we get this and this looks perfect but it's a little too fast for me so what I want my original one is 12 seconds so I go here to 300 I have now 12 seconds and go now to my matrix and 100% divided by 12 seconds no, I have a if it's too slow you can just double the amount so times two and this still loops so this looks not bad 
Here we will see it at the end. Here we have a little, it, it does not uh, bob around, it, is, it just looks like, but we don't see the edges, so, so that's not, not really because we will be something like here or so. And so let's make the whole thing a little bigger, make the disk, let's see. With an outer radius of 1000. And now we can play with, this, with the mouse spline here. That's the reason I use the mouse spline. So we can simply make this longer. Okay, we have a nice noise back just so. And if I don't want to see this behind here, so that is just blopping. Make it even longer, we know so that this blopping part is outside. Okay. And now we see this is maybe too fast, so let's divide this in again by two, so we we'll come back to this. Great. And if you think it is uh, the parts in the middle are too small at the beginning, because later I want, I want to make maybe more, more uh, uh, fractures here. So, so when I go to the matrix, or to the cloner in this case, no, to the matrixes, and say three here, I get even more of them. Huh? But so that this will be too, too small maybe. And the easy fix for this is you go to the array and up the radius a little bit. If you go up with the radius, the middle parts will be a little bigger. So we have a totally control over this whole thing here. And the only thing we have to do now is uh, bring this up a little bit. So here we will see with this setup we will have a little problem. I want to use the plane effector to make this higher. So, so I go to my fracture object and in the fracture object we can use a vector. So we are now a fracture and I select it and go to the plane effector. Uh, plane is the first. Good. To the parameters I want to scale it. I don't want to work with the position. If I work with the position everything goes up and this is not what I want because uh, I want to have some, uh, oh, it's called a field, I don't know how it's called, columns, or oh, no, yeah, you will see what, you know what I mean. <laughs> and I want to scale this, but here, because the disk has no uh, thickness and nothing, this does not work. So what we have to do is to exchange the disk with a simple with, with a cylinder. So we have here thousand auto readers, so we take the disk out, bring in a cylinder with a height, let's say one centimeter, that's okay. We have here 50 and here we had 1000. Bring the cylinder inside and this should make no difference. So the same again and but now when I say to the plane effector I want to scale the y go to absolute scale the y-axis you see it scales and I have here the height otherwise with the position you just change the position and you, it stays not at the bottom so we need the scale Good, let's scale this, let's say this 300. And we wanna scale just in the inside here. So for this we have a fall off of course. And here you can use a, a, a cylindrical field or a spherical field or something else. I I think I used the I used, in the original one I used a spherical field, but a, a cylindrical field would, would work too, so like this, and you see, nice, we get here something, let's make it a little bigger, something like 
Let's make the photo of this one. Okay, let's go to the zero remapping. Here the zero, and I want not in different contour. I don't want it so so uh, linear like this here. I go to contour, mode curve, and here. I want a curve which looks like this here. So this is nice. So I want this go here to my plane effector parameter, make it a little higher, 500. Okay, we have this. Let's save this. You see, I, I prepared the uh, file already. Good. The next step is, uh, yeah, let's react this thing to this to sound. Good. We go to our fall off, and above the spherical field, I want a sound field. So I go to here and go to the sound field. Sound field, and the sound field, of course, needs a soundtrack. So I click here my let's go to a little more space here, so okay. Let's load a sound. This I remember I will, should have the original one on the desktop. Let's see. One or thousand here I have the wave file. And I wanna select here the peak here, so this part here and when we play this we should already see anything that looks okay but not what I want first thing what I see that everything moves this is not what we want let's go to frame and we can simply go to our follow up and set the sound field from max to multiply so now only the towers should move. Here it comes not the, when we do a hardware render you will see that it works. But it's it's moves a little too fast everything. So you can go here from uh <coughs> have different things as so you can go sampling average step whatever you want. Uh but here in the TK is it. And when I go with the TK quite a lot up here, so let's see here, you will see it's smooth all the way down. This is too much. So but 50 is fine here, I think. Let's make a hardware render so we see this a little better. Let's go to the render settings here. Whoop. Hardware render, so this means just hardware open shell. Output 720 is okay. All the frames now, I want 299, so that uh, we don't have on the first and last frame the same picture. And yeah, well, we don't need here. Just render it. Shift R, okay. Good, I am back when it's rendered, so that I don't have to watch it. So this is already rendered and go back here. And yeah, in the hardware render the first frame is something like this, but you don't have this in the in the final render, so yeah, it, this this blinking what you have seen is this this the first is the first frame here so as I said you don't have it in the, this is just in the hardware render. Okay. Delete this, we don't need it at the moment. And no. Okay I wanna set the camera that's quite so that we don't see the edges here. I have use for this the crane render again but this is very easy to, uh, to we need one material here for this whole thing. 
And yeah, the only thing what what we have in physical render, uh, it's a slight problem, because you see we have hard edges here. For octane is no problem. I can make in the uh, material settings. I have the uh, rounded edge shader, and so I can make rounded edges. But if you want here with the physical render, you sh you would have to put a bevel on these guys here, and you will have a problem. You cannot bevel this fracture thing here, and yeah, you can bevel the. Uh, you can put the fracture in a connect, but as soon as you uh, put it in the connect object, you will lose the information from the plane effector for coloring the things here. So this is a, a little problem. Uh, once, I don't know when it was, 2018 or 2019, when I think it was when we released R20 with the uh, notes for the physical render, for the materials, someone, have shown that you can make with the node materials uh, rounded edges somehow, uh, but he never showed how. He just showed the picture. Yeah, you see, it is could get exactly be a bevel as well, so they, you know if this is true or not. So they never uh, proved it. So, okay, I. I think it will between physical render it will be something with the normal and maybe a plain alien normal map or something, we don't know. Uh, if, uh, I think about maybe when I find a way how to make a bevel on these things here. I show you how they can bevel it if you say uh, if I don't need the color things. So. Uh, you see, you can, when you put this in an RLG here. And under the Nile, I bring a bevel deformer. I bring the bevel deformer quite points two and let's say two things. Uh, I see we get problems anywhere. Yeah, now we can end it on the fracture, but, but this so the fracture that this wouldn't work because we need it. On the on the full ho on the whole object here. So when you put the fracture now, you look at the colors. When you put the fracture now in a connect, the bevel will work, but the, the colors we will lose. So connect object and melt it, uh, weld it. Uh, it. It calculates here. Still calculates, yeah, it's a lot to, to calculate, of course. So now you see we have the bevels that works perfect, but we lose the color information of the of the effector. When you know a way how to fix this, please tell me. And you see these ugly uh, shading problems here, but you can go rid of get rid of this with. with down the, the fong, then it's okay. But from from the from far, it's okay. But when you go down with the fong, you don't have round edges here. You have something like this, but you don't see it from far. So this is not not really a problem. Okay, but we do it this in octane render, so we don't need the bevel thing and everything. And delete the bevel. Delete the connect here. Delete the null. Okay. So, save this. And now let's make a camera. So, let's. Uh, objects, camera. And I want here zero. Here zero. That's okay. Make a protection tag. And I want to be able to change the height, the X and the pitch here. So, okay. I don't want to change the X. Uh, yeah, the X. So, so, this is okay for me. So, I can play. And we still. Have, and I want here, let's say 80. Uh, this is what I want. 
And I think I did my original one here with five. Okay. Yeah, we will see this later. Now we uh, render something. First, I bring in my rig, as you know, meanwhile, and just to have some nice reflections and everything. And the rig has a, a floor, and I want a floor here because this, uh, this uh, spherical field, of course, works in the other, and this works in both directions, so it's down here as well. And I want, don't want to see the downside. So now I have here a floor in between from things that but the background and floor go to my floor here and go a little up with the floor this is too far and go a little down i don't want to have the floor far under it so this this should be fine okay uh, yes, you still see it here one down okay save it. Now we need one material, not more. I make it close to material and go inside here. So let's <laughs> it looks nice too. <laughs> And so just see basic GGX and bring this on our fracture object. And now a little. Oh, do it. No, I think in the original I made a metallic object. Let me make this metallic. Okay, this should change here as well. Why does this not change? Hmm, it will change later, maybe. See. Whoop. Somehow it should change. Well, it, it will change, I think. So a little roughness on it. <laughs> Come on, change it then. Delete it and bring it again. That's strange. <laughs> What's wrong here? Yeah, it's again a new release from the green render, but that should normally work. Yeah, I just set it up how it should work. So I go to my specular, and here the specular, I want the mo graph color shader. This looks like it does not in any way it does not react. This simply does not react. Here you see it in in in, in the viewport it works. Simply does not react. Uh, it's every time I am something surprise, some surprise in a new release. Uh, do you know when I put it to here? Not 
even dead. This is the only geometry we have here, so... Object deck, no. Does not make any difference. Yeah, I rendered this with, with R3, I think, or something like the, the original one. This can't be that it's that, that, that really... So why is this now? I close this, yes, save it, and open it again, maybe it works then. It's not possible. What do I have here? It's not the reason. Let's see if I change the other. No. I will restart the cinema. Maybe that's what that could not be, but I will restart. So now it's restarted, let's see what we get now. Uh, really, I had to restart the cinema. It's really great. So... That's annoying, but what shall we do? This should be... So. Okay, now at least we have this. But the color shader should work here already. Let's see, we go to the plane effector, parameter, this is on, so let's see. Let's give the color shader a ramp in between. Normally I do this with the colorizer, but uh, the gradient should work here this way. So. Seems that it does nothing. Okay, it does something. Give this another color. I'm on the on the specular map. Ah, oh God. Specular, not specular map. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now you see how it works.
Thank you to hide the... This is always the same if you uh, load it new or something, you have to load the, the sound file new. You see, it loses always the sound file. So, but the settings are still the same. Should be, yeah, uh, take the key at 15, so that's, that's okay. show you this thing with the rounded edges you see we have here a very hard edge but here in the shader now you go to the glossy base to the basic step and here you have the rounded edges and go down 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 the rounded edges And the radius, let's see, 0.5 for the moment. Do I really have every time? And you see, we get rounder edges here. But I want it to accurate. Now I see it very nice. So we don't have to bevel here. That's a big advantage. And it works really nice as well. So good. That's it. That's the whole. That's the whole thing. It is not more to do on this. Of course, now we can search in different HDRI so that we get some nice reflections, maybe some nice highlights on the top. Shift F8. Let's go to an outdoor scene. Uh, which did I use in the original one? I let's see maybe I remember do not really remember I think it was this one It has some nice highlights. Okay. Because with these highlights on the top, you can play with the post effects here, of course. Put here a little bloom on it. A little clear. Nice render here. Dude. Of course, I did uh, my original one. I did a little post work as well. I mean, but just in Premiere, a little color correction. So, and now what do I want as well? A little depth of field. So, right here. Come on, I just want to. And maybe this new, I don't know. Ah, I can check now which one I want. This is new. If I only would know which one, which cylinder this is. I take this one here. Okay. And thin lens, go to depth of field here. Auto focus off, yes. We start to see something. Give it seven. Okay. Yeah, 
it looks nice. So you fit. Okay, I will render out here this, this 300 frames and see what our uh, animation looks like. So I see you in a second. So, okay, I start uh, rent now 160 frames here and let's see. Looks amazing. Here we have uh, this looks better and again. I mean, you can see this, this, this. Uh, yeah, this is nice blue and clear. This is yes, yeah. That looks great. Of course, now it does not look because we have the frames. But we see it looks very nice. Okay, that's it. Uh, yeah, as I said, with the physical render, it's uh, yeah you can do the the Barry thing if you don't change the colors. Uh, otherwise, I would not have a good idea at the moment. When I find a, a thing, I will post it, of course. But anyway, uh, patrons can download uh, already this uh, original file from my patron site. For physical render and for for octane, yeah. And so that's it for now. You see, this is a pretty nice effect and quite easy done. So it's not not really a hard thing. Uh, yep. Next tutorial will come next time. <laughs> and again, you guys, you think you just can send me a video clip and I will do everything else? Nope. That's not the way to do it. Good. Yeah, you can do this. We can do this and when I see there was a donation with it, so I don't need words. <laughs> okay. okay. Good, so I hope you are still all healthy and on a safe place. And yeah, and that it is it will continue like this. As always, that you are healthy, not with this situation. It's not really getting better here in Austria, so... Yep. Nothing new. Good, but what I do in the next tutorial, I can't tell you, because uh, I do it more coincidentally now, so, so, so I... Uh, yeah, and whenever I find time, because moment, at the moment... Uh, uh, I, yeah, of course I spend more time with my family now at home, and yeah. Anyways, uh, I will I will continue of course, and we soon have the three hundred uh, tutorials. Don't know how many. We are not over. I think it was the last one was two hundred. No, where is my YouTube channel? This is my YouTube channel. Was the last one was about 297, yeah, 297. So three tutorials to the next to the next round number. Good. Okay, that's it. I wish you all the best. Have a nice day. It's it's a beautiful weather here in in Austria and in, in Vienna. And that's a little hard. <laughs> you cannot go out, but it's a beautiful weather. And hopefully you are with me in my next tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. You will find everything you need in the description. And if you want to support me on Patreon, you will find a link there. And with five euro per month, you can download all the project files, uh, material packs and some other downloads. And of course, it you can uh, support me with more when, if you want as well and you even I even help me when one supports me just with one euro on patreon why not everything is nice and if you say no i just want to donate you can do this as well and just uh, look at the link in the description for for the paypal and now that's it all you need yet uh, the link to the plugins and everything you find on my website so, so so when we go to my website here the link for the website is in the on the useful things you see plugin scripts textures hdri and everything and the plugins and scripts just you have all here 
what I use so often and, and the free ones, the mostly the free ones. Good. So that's it. I say bye bye. See you next time and have a nice day. Stay healthy and tschüss und baba.